Hey everyone, it's Yayuna. Just bringing you guys an update on the fire on this mountain here where we live. This is what it looks like. The last time I did a video, it was at night and we were close to what? 16, 17,000 acres. It's a spread all over as you can see. Um, we're taking pictures also that we will be sharing. Honestly, it's heartbreaking. I'm, I'm just really sad. You know, we love this mountain. We love coming up to this mountain. Um, it is a, a place of refuge in the heat. It's beautiful. It's historical. It's just, there's animals up there that can't really come down because it's a whole different ecology up there. And then, I don't know, we can't see it. I'm trying to point out, there are telescopes up there for the University of Arizona. And also, I don't know if people were aware, but the Vatican, I think it's somewhere around this area, somewhere a little higher, right there, somewhere, somewhere around up there. Um, I've been sharing pictures uh, because the fire got really close. There was no fire damage per se as of yet but it got really really close and I'll try to find pictures of that those are not pictures I've taken though these photos are from the website and Facebook page from the Safford fire department so these are not my photos these were taken by the Safford fire department I take no credit for these um so you can see but yeah and as we arrived actually this road this road is closed this fire department folk going that way they're trying to get to the fire and everything cattle guard <laughs> please please keep our fire department the hot shots all in prayer you know for protection sometimes fire yes is needed and it's good and it's healthy and it burns out stuff but then when it rages out of control and right now we're we're waiting for monsoon to occur and it hasn't yet so we noticed that there's a staging area and it's closer to town and we were going to drive by it we're just going to go by it i don't want to i don't want to intrude we're actually the back side of the street where the where everything's all set up you can see a few things you can see some tents incident traffic so our firefighters are not only putting their lives at risk but they're set up in tents to sleep in out here in the heat and right now today it's been I think the high got up over at our at our little mini airport at 111 and in other areas it was about 109 100 uh, 108 so this is what they're doing for us you know and i think this is part of the reason a lot of people are upset uh because we're putting lives on the line we're putting a lot of lives on the line this is just it's very sad all right so part of the road is taped off we're we're just going to stay in the car I was going to walk around, but I decided not to. Um, looks like here they have a station for washing hands and such. Porta potties. Tents. A lot of tents set up. They're sleeping on the ground, folk. Look at this. Bless their hearts. Oh my goodness. I'm thankful for our firefighters. I hope, I hope they stay safe. Um, wow. So... There you go, people wrote, thank you. Thank you for risking your lives. Very, very true. Look at look at all these men, young men, all these people that put their lives on the line for us. All for this mountain. You know, I think that's a bigger part of the upset. There are people from New Mexico here there's people from Tucson, the Tucson Hot Shots here. There's countless, from countless, countless places, they're here. And people are putting thanks up, you know, thank you signs up, which is really beautiful. Um, we do thank them for everything they're doing. You know, 
I'm most definitely not upset with our firefighters who are putting their lives on the line, who are going at it full force, you know, wearing those outfits that weigh so much in this heat, sleeping on the ground. What's upsetting is that it was allowed to get that large. It started, it was not man-made, thankfully. It was started by a lightning strike. And when they found it, if they could have just gotten a helicopter, if they could have just gotten something to put it out, you know? That's what the upset is about. Not about our firefighters themselves. We want them to know that they are so appreciated, you know? And I just would like to ask everyone, you know, if you see this video, please not just subscribe, not just like, but could you share this? Please share this video so that people can see. And, you know, in your town, wherever you live, you know, in honor of these firefighters here, if you could go to your firefighters in your town and go take them a little something and tell them thank you. Just honor them for the for the hard work they do you know it's when everyone else is running out they're running in so for that we thank you hey guys it's Yuna again um I know I had already closed off but I actually it's about 10 30 at night and I decided to take a drive I am on the road that leads directly to the mountain. I've not even gone a quarter of the way up. Um, it's too dangerous, but I'm going to try to go out here and record it for you guys. It smells, it's usually one of my favorite scents, but right now, because of what's going on, it's not. It smells like a campfire, but it's a sad one, you know? So I will get out of the car you're only gonna hear my voice I'm sorry you're not gonna see me but it's okay yeah you don't need to see me um, but yeah please pray um, I'm gonna show you guys there is actually a prison down uh, this road heading towards the mountain and um, then in the middle of the road there is a uh, either a police officer or a sheriff's officer you know somebody in the road so that people aren't driving up there um, and then I'll pan over to the mountain itself. The, the fire has spread to the front of the mountain. It wasn't in the front. And they've obviously closed off the whole mountain. They had at first just closed up halfway, but it is now officially closed right now. It's during the day, how I showed you guys the video, you could see all the smoke and everything, but now at night you can see the fire. So please, please bear with me and we will, we'll look at it, okay? Thanks. All right, you guys, what you see in front of you right there, those lights, okay, there's a vehicle coming towards us, but okay, off behind it, I'm off more to the left of the screen. That is the prison. Then right now you see vehicles coming, but you can't see the, um, the police officer, excuse me, that has, closed off the road, only service personnel can get past that because I think people, only people that work at the prison can make it there and then past that they can't. And this is the fire. Due to the high winds, I've turned off the original recording, but as you can see, it spilled down. Um, I was spanning over to show you the rest of the fire. The fire is all throughout the front of this mountain. It's coming down. What you can see lit up, obviously, is burning super bright, um, but there was more. There's actually, as we were looking, there was more spots that you could barely see. Uh, as I stood there, later on, there was actually a flare-up where the fire got really, really bright. I can't remember if I caught it in time. But right here, we're looking at some more of the other flare-ups that are barely visible. 
but they were there. They were very much there, and that's actually pointing towards the area that I had been at previously earlier in the day. Um, so, yeah, the fire has spread as of today, this morning on June 23rd. There is actually almost 25,000 acres on fire. Um, so, again, my one call of action is asking you to please keep our firefighters, the hotshot crews, in prayer that they be safe and they be able to fight this fire and stay safe, you know, and pray for their families who support them, who are home and worried about them. Thank you so much. These are a couple of pictures I took that came out from the fire on my cell phone. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Love you all. Bye.